yeah I, I i wasn't planning on spending too much time on this topic until an official announcement which i really think i think is is imminent so i think it's imminent we got a date and a location august 14th saudi arabia anthony josh with tyson fury we know that much it's the same people that put together the ruiz 2 <laughs> not the aj ruiz 2 fight and yeah the the prince or big k as they like to call it they might be specifically building another stadium as they did for the aj ruiz 2 fight it's quite funny though seeing rankin bob sit by just giving interview after interview not having not having that much information just waiting for waiting to hear from eddie as they as the days go by to the point where bob got embarrassingly restless a couple weeks ago when he was saying that eddie's a desperado eddie needs the fight to happen like bob i thought you promote tyson fury what, what are you talking about eddie needs eddie needs this what eddie needs he clearly thought um, things weren't looking right so he was just you know distancing himself from the whole situation still quite strange though i don't know what sort of agreement they have eddie's still talking about certain a-side politics stuff is still in the air so i don't understand how are you doing all the work and you're still cowering to these guys demands what sort of agreement do they have where fury can potentially walk out second i don't i don't understand what do you agree to there eddie what's going on here it's slightly petty but i, I kind of do you know i kind of want this gypsy guy to get put in his place man it's a bit too big for his boots coming from nowhere thinking he owns everything what the hell you just won a title a couple days ago so what are you on about play your position man even your promoters are moving like b-side guys as well so what's 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 the argument what's the conversation listen just just come out first man just walk out go in the ring stand there looking stupid and wait for aj to walk in and let's get this fight on anyways in in related topic Ooh, sick. 2021. Ooh, sick. i'm ready for you sick the joyce and usik fight well usik joyce however you want to have it the usik joyce fight looks like that fight is going to be for the full wbo world title due to the fact that that fight is probably going to take place after the well not probably is definitely going to take place after the the aj fury fight so that means well as some of you may not know the winner of aj fury is probably going to relinquish the wbo belt so the joyce and usik fight is probably going to be for the full wbo world title when that fight does take place not for the number one or the mandatory position i've been a bit um shaky with my with my pick when it comes to this fight but in the back of my mind i've always had a winner well i think sometimes i've actually committed but i've always said um well let's just say i've straddled the fence for the most part when it comes to this fight but i'm just going to make a full-on commitment now joyce wins this fight man joyce wins this fight probably stops him late i got joyce winning the fight sadly usyk's just too small man he's too small he, he did he did beat chizora i'm not one of those that felt like oh he he yeah chizora won that fight no no he definitely beat chizora it was a close fight but usyk won that fight i don't i don't see that's probably yeah, as far as he gets for him in the, in the elite elite level of the heavyweight well he can't he can't beat um a couple of these guys running around but for the most part yeah i don't think he can deal with that size i don't think he can deal with the size moving on it all makes sense now why michael hunter turned down the the ibf final eliminator fight it appears michael hunter has moved back down to cruiserweight because this is who he's fighting for his next fight mike wilson Ooh. just just look at his picture here this guy looks like insert a random insert a random pub fire and yeah here you got mike wilson this guy is a cruiserweight that's who back up my um that's what your boy's fighting man turned down the opportunity to fight for well to potentially fight for the IBF world title to go fight on on a Teofimo Lopez undercard on Triller for the bag according to him that's what he's saying on Twitter check him out he posted a fly of the to promote the the card right and people were getting onto him so he disabled the comments for the for the poster so and then he posted this silly little tweet and i just tweeted him man i just here's what i said to him 
But I basically told told him he, he's a liar, isn't it? He lied to us. He told us he's like his dad, and his dad was my Connor. He, he wasn't known from running from no smoke. You're, you're running from smoke. That's what you're doing. Your dad was known for fighting the big guy. You've you you've told us this story so many times yourself. How you know what your dad was known for? So what you're doing here is nothing like him. It's this ain't even for the bag as well. If if you're saying your dad was with the to- okay, this is what he said back. He said, "If you knew so, if you knew anything about my dad, he would have said secure the bag." <laughs> but this is just, this is just securing securing the bag. This is just taking stupid shortcuts because you're scared of a fight. That's what this is. You're just taking the safe route. Hunter was basically born into boxing. He was born in a sport. There's boxing his mom's side and his dad's side. And he said he went to try and win the Olympics twice just to make his dad proud. It was his dad's dream for him to win the Olympics, so that's why he tried twice. He, 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 he never won any medal but still he tried to do it twice for his dad so i'm thinking how about world title what did your dad think about world title is mike lee or mike lee what was his name again mike wilson is mike wilson gonna get you that this isn't this isn't this ain't it okay you failed to win the olympics so why not try your hand at the world title are you scared of smoke are you scared of the big boys that's not what your dad was known for. Your dad wasn't scared of no big guys. Come on, man. The guys, the guy came. He was talking all sorts of stuff. Oh, bounty hunter, this bounty hunter, that. He was posting all sorts of random stuff. Them um, even posted the the, the flyer of, of the Hergovich fight, and then he turns around and does this. The guy's just uh, nah, man. Fraud, fraudulent, fraudulent. Let's see what he does after this, though. Let's see like what he does moving forward. Now we know what it's like. Let's see, but. It's, it's quite bizarre though because he stepped in there with Bacoli and all of that but and this is what it shows us down the line it's what's that of a massive guy for in Monaco was it used to know before he used to, like come on and this is and he scared of Hergovich strange I don't know what to make of this just, just this just, this move is just very bizarre bizarre remember when he said he was gonna fight for free he was he was on hold Oh, I'm gonna fight for free campaign. Anybody say that what they put out of fight Michael? Here comes Michael Hunter. Oh, I will fight him for free. What, what? <laughs> this is what he does. Ducks Hergovich after all of that. You're not gonna fight Hergovich for free. Now you're trying to secure the bag. <laughs> Who is this? What, what what are you? Like what's going on? Anyways, I'm watching the card. I'm watching the fight. I'm trying to see what Trailer's trying to do with this. I hope they do the whole. I was feeling the. I was feeling the whole scenery with the the Logan, the, the Jake Paul. <laughs> I really enjoyed that Jake Paul. The pre- I can do with less music. Well, I do love music. Don't get me wrong, but I, I'm not here. For, I'm here for. I'm here for smoke. So I could do with less music, but keep the keep the the extracurriculars. Keep the whole um, Oscar De La Hoya vibe. Keep keep the keep all of that. Keep keep the keep the weed. <laughs> Some alcohol. <laughs> Yeah, and then, yeah, let's leave. But does that make it unprofessional boxing? Hey, listen, progress got his win. <laughs> this, that, that was a legitimate fight. So, yeah, let's just. They should just present their fights that way. It's something different, something fresh. <laughs> and let's go. You can go to your match rooms, your PVCs, your Queensbury. We can go to all of them, your top ranks. We can go to them for for what we go to them for. And we've gone to Triller for the clown show. I'm here for the circus. As long as you know we can get some proper fights there as well. They should just go the full circus route. That that's that's fine by me. Was that um that Jake Paul? That's was that on Prime? Well, it's it's, it's an app anyway, so it doesn't even matter. You, prime time, whatever time, it's an app. You know, you you. you I guess it's not. It's the, you, you've got to be of a certain age to to download the app in the first place, probably. So yeah, they can do whatever they want. So just keep it that way, man. Let's go. Circus show. And it was real briefly on Hunter before I call. He did let slip on tour amidst the, the storm and the barrage of insults from <laughs> from fans. He did let slip that he might have signed a multiple fight deal with Triller. So I guess that's what his head is for his next few fights. He's gonna be with Triller. As usual, you know the drill. Comments below. Your thoughts are important as well. I need to know what you guys think. Subscribe if you're new here. If you've been here this long, you might as well just slap the like on your way out. Notification bell, click that too. Twitter question marks UK and I'm out.